everyone. I'm Luciana, and today I have the honor of presenting our next speaker, Emmanuel, who is a remarkable figure in the field of digital accessibility. She's a developer, Shoto, a French company, and is also deaf by birth. In today's talk, we're fortunate to learn from her about the potential for automatic tools that bridge the communication gap for deaf and hard of hearing people through the use of sign language. This is such an important subject, and I'm sure you'll find it very interesting to learn from Emmanuel's perspective. Hello, everyone. Welcome to my talk on programming communication, the quest for automatic solution in sign language. If you need a transcript, feel free to scan the barcode. The video also contains option. Feel free to activate the options on this video. My name is Emmanuel. I am French and I am a developer at Shudo, a French company. I am also deaf with two ear implants. I am part of the CNCS Deaf and Hard of Hearing Working Group, which brings together deaf web professionals from all over the world. I am also part of three feminist associations in France, Duchesse France, ESO, and Opposité, to represent women in tech, and by extension, disabled women. And finally, I am proud to be part of the Women Test Makers Program to amplify my message about inclusion, disability, and accessibility. Before we talk about sign language, you need to know that around 46 million people worldwide are affected by disability loss, according to World Health Organization. This represents 5% of the world's population, who estimate that 700 million people will be affected by 2050, one person in 10. We have also 72 million deaf and hard of, of every people around the world use sign language. Contrary to the popular myth, not all deaf and hard of every people know sign language. There are over 300 different sign language on the world. This means that sign language is not universal. Yes, each country has its own sign language. For example, in the United States state, we have American sign language. In UK, we have British sign language. In France, we have French sign language. In India, we have Indian sign language and so, so, so. However, there is an international sign language that enables deaf people all over the world to communicate with each other. International sign language, ESL, is different from American sign language, ASL. Seeing that sign language is not universal, we realize that creating an automatic tools in sign language will only be accessible to a local language and population. Sign language varies considerably one from one region to another, even within the same country due to cultural and regional differences. Variation can include differences in vocabulary, grammar, intonation, 
and body movement. This make research more complicated. When you read a tool in USA, it won't be understandable by people who use French sign language or another sign language. If you want the tool to be available in another sign language, you have also have to achieve the language. Let, him, let me remind you that sign word are differently and different depending on the language. Just the hello world differ depending on the country. For example, here is hello in the SN and bonjour in French sign language. Test to the sign language processing EAP, which has been around for a few years now. Many sign language projects are cloud wishing because the data is public. This data comes from American sign language. What hearing people doesn't know is that, is that sign language is not universal. So, for example, I can see professionals in France using this data to create an application with a 3D avatar. But ISL is not the language used in France. As a result, it's completely pointless to create the app in France because the French deaf population doesn't know ISL. Yes. That's why it's so important to get to know the deaf and hand of every community. Deaf culture and above all, learn the local sign language with deaf people. If you don't know the language, how will you know that the language you are using is the right one? That the vocabulary is right? That the sign movement and fashion and body expression are right? Ask the importance of people, deaf people in the process. Ask for their opinion, opinion on your project and even evolve them from start to the finish. Every year, four years, students and engineering school have been constantly trying to invent a new prototype designed to facilitate communication between deaf people who speak sign language and hearing people. Students in search of technological progress see they are doing the right thing by creating this prototype without the approval of the community and we are without even trying to understand how this community works. The most obvious example is clubs. The clubs are the perfect example of the disability dangerous, a term invented by Liz Jackson. In Jackson created the term disability dangerous in 2017 to draw I'm sorry, in 2019, to draw attention to phenomenon of design and engineering students and practitioners, prototyping innovative solutions for disabled people. The definition satirizes an outcome in which designs are technologies for disabled people attract mainstream attention and praise despite disabled people's legitimate concerns about them. This term refers to a technological solution designed for disabled people, but which is reality 
is often useless. Our body and adapting to their real needs. Pets, gloves, for example. The gloves attracted the attention of the baby and therefore potential founders, but did not meet with the approval of the deaf community. The gloves have therefore distracted from the willingness of the community, which is really for creating accessibility with sign language. In fact, access to education and care, administrative procedure, the media, and so on, using, using sign language is still very difficult for deaf people who, whose modern tongue is sign language. To me, this means more sign language of an interpreter has need and they need to be trained. Even today, there are too, too few interpreters to meet all the needs. What's more, do you see people working around with this curve that obstruct the movement, especially as they are heavy and huge? There is, all, there is also the question of responsibility. If the machine's translation is bad, the person receiving the message will misinterpret it. A sign can mean several words, and this sign is defined only to the context. Watch Shazen's video showing the same sign, many several words. If you don't know sign language at all, in this year have only us more or uh, less in past. That's why you need to work with the deaf people to observe that the tool is viable. I am going to make a bit of uh, an exchange with automatic emption. Today, automatic emption are not 100% reliable. There can be a lot of, of error depending on the environment, the context, and the person speaking. In the USA, the LET is better than in France. Being French, when I see that there are a lot of errors in the automatic emission, I have to do some mental substitution to fill in the herbs, especially during my podcast. When the AI made a mistake, I have to make up for it by reading lips or hearing the missing words. If I have understood it already, is very exhausting. So, imagine with automatic sign language. That's why we need with sign language interpreter to help the community in their daily lives. Automatic solutions are not intended to replace them, but they can help in area where interpreters cannot intervene. Digital intents, for example, having this digital intents or audio announcements is public transport translations by a 3D avatar can be an effective solution. The problem with 3D avatars is the quality at present, it is difficult to reproduce facial and body expression. Two things that are very important in sign language. Just sign is not enough. You, know, you also need expression to transmit the tone of the message and context. 
3D avatar works very well, but more often than not, they look like robots, are, are completely devoid of human expression. That's the challenge today. I have no doubt that in a few years' time, avatars will be more fluid. Watch a great video from here. A French company to raise awareness of AI and science as sign language. Text to object detection API is easy to ensure the sign language I recognize is higher. The program only managed to ensure sign by sign and slowly and that. But sign language is not about Signing, sign by sign, is a war knowledge that's constructed and alive through facial and body expression. You can sign at high speed, but the AI will have trouble capturing the sign because they are all so fast and it's hard to recognize them. I'm going to take the example of French company because that's what I know the best. Being French, I follow technology all development in France. In base, a French company has created his first cyber, a conversion all chat in French sign language. From my own experience with signboards. During a demonstration, I signed very quickly, and the AI did not capture what I said. I had signed very slowly for it to understand me. It's very promising. The advantage of this signboard lies is the collaboration with deaf signers, and this works, but there is still a lot of work to do. The American company ScienceSpeak is also building technology for them, deaf people with them. Why is it so important to work with deaf people? Did you know that to arrange the avatars vocabulary, you need to have the sign in motion, motion capture so that the AI can learn it, unlike automatic captioning, where you should need to provide a vermitim, the process is more complex and slower. As we know, that which evolves every day. New signs appearing in the sign language repertoire. Each country see is the whole sign language to wrong, wrong, wrong. So the database has been constantly updated. That's why it's so important to work with the deaf and hard of every community. Nothing about us without us is a moment as the creating by the disabled community in the United States state. Nothing about us without us shows the importance of evolving disabled people in the product design. You can collaborate with deaf and hard of hearing people in tech to find a tool with AI sign language. For example, there is the CNCF deaf and hard of hearing in group which bring together deaf and hard of hearing people in tech all over the world. You can contact them. If you are looking for someone to call, you can be sure to find them via this group. Or contact a local deaf association in, in conclusion. If you want to create a tool with evolves sign language with AI in the entry, 
Yet to Agnichi, he would. Thank you very much for listening to me. Thank you so much, Emmanuel, for such an insightful presentation. Your expertise and vision for digital accessibility are truly inspiring.